Hi designers, it's Haley with Silver Moon Design School and in today's tutorial I'm going to show you how to make a Don Julio 1942 bottle. This is a special request from Javier Chapo, sometimes with these more complicated shapes. It makes me question like is this even possible but I'm happy to say I figure out a way to make it 90% believable so follow along. Alright so first I'm going to start with my reference image on a layer in Adobe Illustrator called reference and I'm going to embed it and lock it. Design layer is where we're going to work from. So how I'm going to approach this is based on the base here because it has this very particular like a hexagonal shape. So I'm going to start by just making a square and I'm going to just copy these sizes. I don't know what the actual dimensions are and I don't really care. So I'm just going to copy what I think is good. And then to get these bevels, I'm going to copy this square. I'm going to turn it on its angle and we're going to size these. I'm going to make four copies and I'm gonna align them so that they're squared off. So I'm gonna grab those two, hit center. If I held shift, they should be all pretty centered, but I want these ones to be even and these ones to be even because now I'm gonna select all four of them and group them. And then I'll also select the triangle. So I have all of these highlighted. I'm going to use this align tool and go center, center, and then come to Pathfinder. Well, actually these are looking a little bit too, like if I look at the shape here, that's a little bit too steep of a bevel. So I'm gonna make these a little bit larger. And now when I overlay, I can see that it's probably gonna give me a better shape. So now I'll hit this minus front and it gives me this really lovely shape. So now I'm gonna hit my hotkey A and I'm going to round these corners just slightly because we don't need them to be super sharp. Like this is a formed piece of glass. So I want them to look a little more organic. And then it does look like some of these panels bow out a little bit even still. So what I can do is add an anchor point using the pen tool. And I'm going to take this Bezier curve and I'm just gonna bump it, like just nudge it like two points so that it has more of that curved shape. It's not like a flat edge on two. I'll even add like a little one here too on this corner. All right, now that we have this kind of malformed shape, I think it's beautifully, perfectly imperfect. So that's like the base. Like if you were looking from the top down, like this is what this base would look like. So now I'll come over to the 3D and materials panel and I will click extrude. I'm gonna adjust the depth. I might even make this a little lighter of a color so I can see, there we go. Scroll down to the rotation features and I'm going to rotate it so that it stands up because um, I'm just gonna eyeball. Okay, so now we can see it's reflecting the shape here and I might need to rotate it a little later, but um, the most important feature here is gonna be this taper tool. So I'm gonna take this and you can see as I drag it down, it starts to taper inwards, which is exactly what we want. Like I mentioned, we're not gonna get it 100% accurate with dimension, but we can make it so that it is mostly exactly what we need. We are gonna add a bevel because at the bottom here, there is like a slight little beveling. So toggle on bevel and you can choose round or classic. I think round looks really nice. And I'm gonna choose a width of seven, a height of 50% and just repeat it once. Okay, so as you can see, like the Don Julio has a little more of a curve. This one is more straight on, but we're just working with what we've got in this program. I'm gonna show you how to make it like so, so close. I aim for perfection, but it's not always achievable with what we have right now. But that doesn't mean in the future with dimensions updates, like this taper feature is new, like they're always adding new things to these 3D and materials settings. So it doesn't mean that we can't do better in the future. I'm just working with what I've got right now. I might even bring in the taper a little bit more because it does get a little more narrow and I might bring the height down. Let's see how that compares. That's better, that's more convincing. All right, and so now we're going to make this cap, this very unique cap. I'm gonna draw a rectangle over it, drag a ruler to that center point and delete. Now I'm gonna take my pen tool and I'm gonna come over here and just trace around this cap 
I'm just going to interpret a little bit how I think it looks when it's actually flat on. And now that we have our shape, I'm going to come back to 3D materials and this time click revolve. So there you have it. If you overlay these, we're going to tweak some things in dimension to make it all fit together. But that is how we create that. Now the other piece is this label that we want to overlay the sticker. And how I'm going to do that is I'm going to take a line tool. I'm just going to trace around because we only have the flat version, but I'm going to imagine that it's like twisted, what, 90 degrees. And I'm just going to take my pen tool and I'm going to draw over how this would be attached. Like so. And I'm going to choose a gray, just give it an outline, pull it to the side, go back to my 3D and materials and I will choose extrude. You could choose plain, but I like the features that extrude has. There's just not as many with plain. So I'm gonna choose extrude. I'm gonna change the depth. Let me rotate so I can see. Yep, so now I can see that I need to make the depth a little bit more narrow. I can even hold it over and see. Okay, now it's a little too skinny. Fatten it up. You can also just type in numbers here. So you can also just say like 0 0.2, 0 0.2, 0 0.24. Okay, awesome. This will at least create that piece that hangs over top. So now that we're here, I'm also going to draw this circle emblem piece to scale. I'm going to make that a solid fill and I'm going to click extrude and I don't need this to be as thick, like maybe 0.1 inches. That's still too thick. So what about 0 0.03? Perfect, that'll be good for that seal. And then, okay, 0.24 was the width of that. So now I can create this little triangle piece and go boom, boom. Boom. And it's gonna go under the circle bit, so I'm not super concerned about making it exact exact. And I think the little imperfections help make it look more realistic anyways. Um, so I'll just come back and copy this. I'll actually make this 0.24. Ooh, it just got really dark. Um, so I highlight the triangle, click extrude, and then type 0.24 into the depth or 0 0.024, sorry, it should have been 0 0.024, so that they're thin. Amazing. Okay, and I think that pretty much wraps up all of those pieces. Um, I'll also include the box here. So what I'm going to do with the box is I will trace this piece and click extrude and Adding a bevel always helps it look a little bit more realistic. So I'm gonna add classic bevel with like a 2% width. And I think I can use these for both sides, but I do need that inside piece. So for this inside piece of the box, I'm talking about that little sliver right in there. I'm gonna copy the outsides of the box, which I'm just gonna flip for each side. I'm gonna make that middle piece and I'm gonna to come to object transform and scale. And I'm going to take it to like 98%. How does that look? I think that's the perfect amount to make it just a little bit smaller. Now I can come back to 3D and materials, scroll to the bottom and click export 3D object. So I do need to click on each of these individually. Um, I'm gonna name these layers as I go so that I know, especially since these boxes are so similar. So box inner, box outer, let's scroll over here and we have the cap. Okay, and now we'll select all of these, delete these files. The only one that you need is this OBJ file. And then down here you click export. All right, and that was part one of how to make all of the shapes in Adobe Illustrator. Now we're gonna head over to Adobe Dimension and put it all together.